what is going on guys i hope that you are having an awesome day so today i'm going to be installing something that i've had to put on my truck forever so yeah i got the cat fuel filters and water separators ready to go on my truck so i ordered it from black market performance um yeah, it was about $400 for the kit I ordered it about in June, so it's been about seven months since I've, I've had the part. I just haven't got to put on the truck yet, so um, I'm going to get her installed today. Um, I can say when I ordered it, they said they had a high influx of orders, and it took over a month. It took almost a month and a half to get my part. I think it took like a, like a month and like seven days to get um, the part, and then they went and didn't they were still missing one part they were missing this sensor here and then i told them i said just send me the filters so like i wanted to at least get the front one installed and then i could just install the back one at a later date and by the time that part got here um i didn't have time to install it either so i just haven't installed any of it but today i am going to install it so yes yeah, so let's get started okay so one more thing before i get started i looked and looked and looked online and finally found it i'll put this out there for all of you guys but that sensor right there after you put the kit on that sensor will not be plugged in anything and i was always wondering what is that sensor for and my buddy who's a mechanic was like yeah, we should find out what that's for before you put the kit on so I found it out and that is supposed to be like a heater like a heat plug-in for your fuel that it heats it right there or something some kind of heater so that will not be plugged in no more but everything else will be so yeah Okay guys, so I have already went and unplugged that sensor and that sensor. So I have unplugged both of the sensors, that one and that one. Um, there's a little red clip on the fuel line that comes into the back. Unclip it and then you should separate your lines and then there's three bolts. You can see two of them right there and one on the back to take out. Okay guys, so it is out. I can say that this little bugger here was hard to get off the back. There's a little white clip you gotta push in on and it pushes the sides out where you can pull that off and I couldn't see that from the angle that I was looking at. So as you guys can see here, little white clip. You gotta pull the red one off on that side and the little white one on this side. It was a booger to get off. But then once you do that, you can just pull your filter right up out of here. You gotta wiggle it a little, but she'll come right up out. So, yeah. And then I believe your new filter should install right here on these two bolts. So it should definitely be way higher up. So, let's get started. I want you guys to look at this crap. So, in the video, it shows them putting the lock washers on these well if you look not the right size lock washers they don't lock washers don't fit so now I'm going to get some lock washers that fit because these ones are too small okay guys so I got this here and I gotta go and screw the sensor out of the old one into this one and tie it around pretty tight until the clip part was on top.
so to get this hose on there I clipped this end into the piece underneath and I, me I measured it or looked at it to see how long it needed to be and then I unclipped it and took it out because this was a booger to get on here oh my goodness so measure it then take it back off and try to squeeze it on there because that thing is a pain to get on there but look good once it's on there Okay guys, so here was a big thing that doesn't show in the video description that they give you guys is that sensor right there with the cable down here where it was it won't even like like it won't even reach the plug. Can't even reach it. But this right here, if you go over top of it. If you go over top, then it reaches and plugs right in. It's a little, it's a little stiff, but you can still move it. So everything should be good. I went and tightened this up and this one up. The clips on the back, my hoses ran, and it is hooked in up here. So I should be good to rock and roll with the front. Okay guys, so the front is done, now it's time to do the water separator on the back. Let's go down underneath. so sorry if I'm not giving you all the right angles it's really hard to get an angle up underneath there but something that happened was this this bolt right here is supposed to stay in the filter and instead these the threads were so rusty right here pretty much when I started ratcheting it just screwed this whole piece out so I got a piece of vice grip so I'm now I'm trying to get these nuts off because you have to reuse those nuts on on those so Trying to get those out now and then we'll be reinstalling it. The back seems like it's way easier than the front, but we'll see when I go to put it back in there. So, so those bolts, those bolts and nuts, or the, the nuts were not coming off there. They were stiff. So I just went and got some, doo -doo -doo. I just went and got new because why not? That would be way simpler then trying to screw with them because they definitely weren't going to come off and then you got to put them back on. I didn't want to put them back on the truck. So got all new stuff. So yeah, let's go get her installed. If you go in and watch a black market performances video on this, I will put a link to that in the description below. But if you've done it before, that's a piece of cake. And then I just started the truck up. I figured yeah, the truck would die out a couple times or something or wouldn't start a couple times because I know my old 24 valves did that. They wouldn't start probably four or five times and they start. I cycled the key probably 10 times real quick, which who knows if I even needed to do that. Cycled the key about 10 times. And then truck fired right up. Ran for five minutes or so there. Mind blown. But I'll show you guys the finished result here. 
here she is all finished up this was a piece of cake back here the only issue that I had was the bolts which are let me see if I can get the angle here the bolts which are up in the back yeah you probably can't really see them but I had to get new bolts so that was good um, the clips were easy to clip on and off the clips right up in there there's two of them easy to clip on and off you just unplug that sensor and plug the new one in and you are plug that sensor out and plug the new one in right here which they send you a, a new sensor harness there and piece of cake the thing is awesome this was a piece of cake up here okay guys and here is the front filter it was a piece of cake to put on the filter itself um, yeah just remember to go over top with this sensor right here um, the rear one everything was easy to get off it was kinda hard to get that clip off on the back for the fuel line but once you realize what you're doing it comes off easy and then I was able to pop the rear ones off pretty easy the hardest part that I seen was trying to get that line right there to slide up on there those black fittings they were a pain in the butt to get them to slide up on there but once they did that once they slid up on there you were good this one up here was a piece of cake make sure you go and you put you take that nut off and put both of those on instead of putting one on and then I screwed that back on there I should have put both of those on and then did that but besides that yes everything is good to go so I hope this was helpful for you. Um, sorry if I didn't get all the best angles, but hey, um, if you watch um, Black Mart Performance's video, it is a very simple install. Maybe I, maybe you watch my video. It is a very, very simple install. I think once you know what you're doing. The hardest part for me and it took the longest was getting those hoses slid up on. Ugh, pain in the butt. But besides that, everything was pretty, really simple. The truck fired right up. So good thing is about 400 bucks. The filters will be simpler to change now cheaper to replace so to me it is a big plus so if you guys have not been here before please get down there and hit that subscribe button um, tap the bell that way you don't miss out on any videos and give this video a thumbs up um, HP custom sparks on Instagram check me out there and I will catch you guys in the next video hope you all have an awesome and blessed day see ya mm -hmm.